Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your end of July reading. Uh, this is a love reading. Uh, I would like you to take what resonates and leave the rest. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, if it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. I think you guys are going through a hard time. Uh, you may be dealing, and I don't. I haven't pulled any cards for you or anything, and I haven't dealt with any Libras in weeks. So I mean, I just feel like you guys are going through a hard time. I feel like you may be a little emotional at this time, um, but you're overcoming it pretty well. It's like you're trying to think on the positive side. But it's like deep down you're hurting real bad. So I don't know why I feel that. I feel like underneath the surface things are are heavy, you know, heavy on the inside, but on the outside and you're you're being optimistic, you know, you're doing whatever you can to to get through this, whatever it is that you're going through. It's like you're overcoming it, even though it's not easy. There's just like it's like you guys understand the reality, but and you know there's nothing you can do about it, but you're still hoping and praying it will change, and you're still really optimistic about it, but it's, oh, it's overwhelming, okay? So, interesting. Interesting. That doesn't usually happen. I haven't talked to, well, I did talk to my brother the other day. I did. So I have talked to a Libra, but it wasn't, I mean, that doesn't have anything to do with it. I don't think it does anyway. Um, I talked to him on the phone, but I haven't seen him. I don't, I didn't see him in any of his body language or anything like that. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. This is for, and I don't know what's going on in his life. We didn't talk about his life, so I don't know. Um, but I just feel like you guys are um, heavy, you know, heavy. Ooh. But like I said, optimistic, which is interesting. You know, you're overcoming it. It's like, yeah, things are heavy on the inside, but you're... You're being really optimistic that things are going to get better. I feel like you guys are turning your back on the... on the. Uh, unhappy feelings within you, you know what I mean? You're trying not to focus on them. Even though it's really hard not to focus on them. Trying to keep structure and balance in your life. This right here is... Conflict, and that's the inner conflict. The Five of Swords. It's not worth it. It's not, but you you need to you need to let go of whatever this is. You need to walk away from whatever it is that's bringing you down. You're still beautiful, man or woman. Now I often get comments: is that room, is that reading for a man or a woman? Every reading is for a man or a woman. Just make it fit. Make it fit as far as the the you know, sex goes or whatever. I feel like you guys are seeing things clearly. I don't see any confusion here. You are very structured at this time. You're, you're strong. You are strong. Okay, there's a lot of confidence here, which is con congratulations. I think that you guys are getting creative to overcome and to bring happiness into your life. Although, there's still some denial. There's still anxiety and there's still resentment. This is denial. In regards to cutting something loose or making a choice, this Two of Swords is like you're sitting on the fence. You have to make a painful choice. And I think it has to do with walking away. See where the swords are? I mean, the swords are pointed. I mean, you have to make a choice. Do you stay stuck or do you walk away? What's it going to be? You know, do you walk away? Do you not look back? I mean, that's the decision that needs to be made. 
Do you focus on the future or do you focus on the past? I mean, that's the decision that needs to be made. And that's why it's so heavy. Now, this is denial. This is blindness. Blind. Blinded. Inability to see the truth. Avoiding the truth. Getting creative to avoid the truth. Whatever this truth is. I don't know. I can't change the meaning of that card. And some people won't like this reading because they don't want to own up to it. But feel free to look up the meaning of that card. Two of Swords, right in the middle of your reading. That is the basis of your end of July. In denial over a situation. It is the middle card. It is the basis of this reading. Right here. Okay? The blindfold is on. And it's caused resentment for you. Bitterness, anger, upset. But you're masking it very, 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 very well. You are. You're still looking beautiful. You're holding your head up high. And it's funny, I started this reading out with that talk. You guys are still vibrating at a high level, even though you have this heaviness. And I got, yeah, I know that there's going to be some, oh, spiritual people that watch this and say, oh, you can't vibrate highly if you've got all that inside. Bullshit. Bullshit. That's normal feeling. That's a normal emotion. Spiritual teachers, anybody, anybody goes through ups and downs. We go through heaviness. We go through these overloads to make us stronger. Maybe you're going through dark night of the soul. Maybe you're going through an awakening. Maybe you're going through an upload. Maybe you're going through a transformation. You know, all of those things are heavy. So don't let anybody tell you that you aren't vibrating highly because you are. Anyhow, I can see that you are. <laughs> okay, you're handling it with the utmost grace. That's what I see. Even though there may be some bitterness, you know, there may be. Uh, so what? Anyhow. Other people might be upset, too, if they felt as much as you did. Anyway, we won't get into that. Anyway, um, you guys are overcoming sorrow. You're overcoming sorrow. You are. Even though it's heavy, even though you're having to make some painful choices, and you're having to take the blindfold off step by step by step, you are starting to heal. Okay? This is a fresh new start on the horizon with the Fool card. It's like... You have a new beginning right now, right here, that could lead to happiness, okay? You do. Whether you accept it or not, that's another story. Anyhow, I feel you could be dealing with the Aries. You could be dealing with Aries twice. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have, um, we have Aries like three times. I'm not sure if you're dealing with the Aries. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That's what I see so far. But I feel as though... You guys are seeing things absolutely clearly. You're going through some sort of struggle, but it's internal, internal struggle, in which I think the outside world really can't see. They can't see your internal struggle. They can see your beauty. They can see your attractiveness. I think that's what it is. Okay, they can. This is how other people see you. The other people see that you're confident. They see that you're strong. Okay, they see they see that you're happy. Whoever that whoever's looking out out uh, in from the outside sees your beautiful beauty, your passion, your fire, your vibrancy, your attractiveness. Your confidence. That's what but that's what people are seeing right now. Okay? Even though on the inside you're not feeling so good, but we won't go back to that. Now your challenge is this ace of swords. Your challenge is communication. Your challenge is using your power wisely. Your challenge is seeing things clearly. Remember to protect yourself. Remember to be strong and to remember to be decisive with your decisions. And remember to 
be organized at this time. Don't let things get chaotic. And this is also very controlling. So, you know, maybe Let me get another card. You need to control your insecurities. And that's your challenge, keeping your insecurities under control. That is absolutely your challenge. <laughs> oh, but I think you've mastered the challenge or you're damn close to doing that. Yeah, you are. It's like you're not worrying half as much as you used to. You could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This is this is somebody that is responsible, somebody that is devoted, somebody that is generous, somebody that is stable and secure. This could be you taking on those energies. This is making a decision in regards to this person. The decision has been made, perhaps to walk away. Now this could be anybody, but this could be a wife, it could be a mother, could be anybody, it could be a partner, because even, even men take on feminine qualities. This is the decision has been made to walk away. Now, either this person may have decided to walk away from you, or you may have decided to walk away from them. Maybe there was a one-sided situation, and you didn't, somebody didn't give, somebody didn't give the right amount, or, you know, the give and take wasn't equal. Something was unequal. Maybe there was a, an offer that was rejected with this person, whether you rejected or they rejected, and you're still stuck on that. That could certainly be the case. Somebody is still hanging on to something that was or is one-sided at this point. They're, be, they're refusing to, to change. Look at this from a new perspective or look at life from a new perspective. Refusing to stand up and walk away. Somebody is, even though the other person has already walked away. Trying to put in more work, trying to put in more effort, working really, really hard on, on staying put, on hanging in there. Somebody is working really, really hard at hanging in there and hanging on to a one-sided situation. And it feels like there's a lack of, of self-love. There's a lack of gratefulness. There's a lack of self-worth and self-esteem right here. Okay? Which, which, which totally contradicts this card. So whoever this person is over here, they, are, they bring you down. They brought you down. They bring you down. Whoever this person is that you're hanging on to that's causing this heaviness, it's bringing you down. I think that you guys have put a lot of energy and effort into a situation waiting, 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 waiting. I mean, that's what the hangman is. And it doesn't look like it's going to come to fruition. It doesn't look like, you know, you're going to get what you desire out of this situation. It's a loss. There's no, there's no new beginning here. So if some of you are hanging on to somebody and this person isn't coming around and they've rejected you maybe several times, it's time, to, it's time for you to stand up and, and let go. It is, if, the, if, that, if that, this portion of the reading is for you. You have a new beginning waiting for you. Perhaps with a, with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it feels like over here we have a pentacles, 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 pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles under here. We have a we have an Earth sign. Any of you that are dealing with an Earth sign, there's no more growth. There's no more passion. And you're still hanging on for no reason. You're sacrificing yourself needlessly for this person. It's time to walk away if you're dealing with an Earth sign. Now let's talk about a fire sign. If you're dealing with a fire sign, this person may want a chance with you. I think there's a fire sign that may want to have a chance with you. But you're not giving them a chance because who knows why. Maybe it's a Leo. We have Aries, Leo, could be Sagittarius. But 
it feels as though you're not allowing, you're not allowing this new chapter, this new beginning to start. You're not. You have to have strength. You have to have confidence. You have to have courage. You need to allow it. You're trying to control destiny in some way. That's what the meaning of the card means. You don't even realize what you're worth. You don't. This is a card of compromise. It's a card of communication. It's a card of working together. Allowing. But you're doing yourself an injustice by staying in an unbalanced situation over here. So I and, I and I don't care if you're still living with a person in an unbalanced situation, if you're still thinking about it, if it's heavy. Now, the Justice card is you, which in reverse, it means heavy. It's funny, I started the reading out like this. You guys have this heaviness within you that is not allowing you to start fresh. It's like... This isn't fair. Life isn't fair. Life isn't fair. It's definitely a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, we have them all. All right? I feel like at this time, there's extremes, okay? And that's why this totally makes sense for the Queen of Swords, Reverse, and the Queen of uh, Wands, Upright. That is total, total extremes. And I see the extremes. On the inside, it's a wreck. On the outside, it's beautiful. That's extreme. You need to be able to balance those out. You need to be able to allow yourself to blend those properties. Okay, and right now it's like there's no blending. It's either one way or the other. And and so it's like when you're out and about and you're, you know, out facing the world, you know, there's like a, a mask on. You know, that Queen of Wands, it's like it's 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 all beauty, you know, but when you get behind closed doors it's back to Oh, smudged mascara and tears flowing down your face. I mean that's what it looks like. I mean that's what I see. So I feel like there's a there's a there's a terrible heaviness that you're carrying that needs to be dealt with. <laughs> And it feels like you guys have lost your power. It's like you've lost your power. You've lost your your ability to to manifest something new because you. It's like you don't even care about manifesting anything new at this time. You know, you've lost your energy to even do it. Your desire. It's like there's no desire to. Allow this fresh new start to begin, which is crazy. There's somebody that is better suited for you, something that is very excited, exciting that could lead to a relationship. Now, when we get the Page of Wands, there's an exciting new opportunity, could be an invitation, and it's somebody that is really confident and courageous and, and, and um, adventurous that wants to do something with you. They want to go have fun. They have a lot of passions, very free spirited. Maybe this is energy you need to take on. Allow your heart to to soar. But you're holding on to something and it's getting old. This is unable to release. And and you know, the magician reversed that is deception. You're deceiving yourself by holding on to something that has no growth. And we've already talked about this. As long as you guys continue to hold on to it, whatever this is, and I don't know what it is, it's going to get heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier. You have to release it. Tremity is trying to escape reality. tricking themselves, holding on to something, blocking themselves from any forward movement. It's time to release. Four of Pentacles, again, I mean, I can't make this shit up. There's an obsession that somebody needs to let go of. This is an obsession. Let go, let go, let go.
What about future in love? Future in love, dear God, angel spirits and universe. Future in love. We already know what's what they need to do. Ooh. Freedom, liberation. That's what the card means. You end this cycle. You stop resisting. Stop holding on. Free yourself from it. Remember what love is supposed to be like. Allow love in. Remember what, what real love is supposed to be like. You have forgotten. Real love doesn't ignore. Real love doesn't go with another man or woman. Real love doesn't walk away and not communicate. Real love is your best friend. There's stuff going on behind the scenes. There's hidden forces here. There's some lies. There's confusion. There's illusion. Somebody could be dealing with somebody else just because they don't want to be alone. Codependency issues. But really holding on to another person. The moon card is lies. It's lies. Caution. Be careful. Be careful. All is not as it seems. It's not. There's secrets. Maybe it's you keeping the secret, which for some of you it is. Pretending that you're happy, and it is the fake it till you make it. We all do it. But on the inside, falling apart. That's what's going on behind the scenes. The tower. This is a rude awakening. So I feel as though there is some sort of rude awakening that the universe is going to bring into your life. To reveal this mystery, whatever it is. There's a mystery here. This is a reveal. This is a mystery. The universe, the tower, is gonna come in to reveal something that is a lie. And so if it's you that have been holding this in, it's gonna come out. There's a lack of wish fulfillment. There's a lack of happiness. A lack of abundance. Holding on to whatever this is that's dead. Okay? You need to free yourself from it. You do. You're holding on to something that doesn't serve you. It's an obsession of some sort. It's getting old and you need to free yourself from it because you have a better suitor, somebody that is better suited for you that will lead to something happy and solid. But you can't fake it to the universe. You can't fake it to God or whoever your higher power is. You can't fake that shit. You can fake it to everybody else in the, out in the outside world here down on earth. Not everybody because some people can see right through it, but not many. Somebody is faking it all the while holding on to some relationship that didn't work out. And there is going to be some sort of rude awakening brought to you via an eclipse. Or the full moon. There's going to be a rude awakening that is going to change everything. 
It's, it's going to bring conflicts into your life. You are about to face some conflicts with this, this, this full moon eclipse coming up here. You are. Uh-huh. Be prepared, Libra. All is not as it seems. Change is on the horizon, whether you like it or not. Act now, think later. Fast action. Events happening at a very fast pace. Something is going to happen that is going to change things for the better because you haven't been making the move. Mentally. Mentally. Freedom from mental turmoil. Okay? So I feel like at the end of July, there's going to be some sort of awakening, which is will probably hurt, some rude awakening with the tower card that brings conflicts into your life. But ultimately allows you to start over, to start fresh with a clean slate. Clean slate. Clean mental slate. So whatever this is to you, I don't know. But as far as new love coming, coming in this week, I don't see it. If you're in a relationship right now, well, you know, I feel like things could be a little rocky. But you're hiding it well. I think you've got, you're mastering your emotions quite well on the outside. On the inside, that's a different story. I feel like you guys, you know, we, there could have something to do with with a father because he's a father. So I'm not sure how that plays a part. But I feel as though change is on the horizon. That is going to allow you to release, release. So we're going to get one of these. Spiritual connection. Spiritual connection. This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. And you know, I understand. That's probably why you're holding on, right? You can't let go of a spiritual connection like that. And you probably never will. But that doesn't mean that you that you stay and suffer in that situation for the rest of your life. There's an opportunity for a fresh new start. If you could realize that we have many, many, many spiritual connections in a lifetime. Many. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And that's what you're doing. I can see the optimism. You guys are prog progressing forward very well. You are. You are. You're doing the right thing. You're headed in the right direction. I see that. But you still have to sever those ties with this spiritual connection that is no more. It's no more. You know what it is. Holding on to it is getting old. It's not coming back around. It's done. It's over. There's an opportunity for something new, which is better suited for you at this time in your life. If you could just allow it to unfold. It's gonna, you, whether you don't like it or not, something is going to end. Abruptly. So that's what I have, Libra. 
I do apologize. This is probably not the love reading you were looking for. But it's what you need to hear. Apparently. You're headed in the right direction. I see success. Success is going to come. After whatever falls apart crumbles. Talk to you later.